Hey, this is Ralph. And in this video, I want to swap out a large image that's being used as a slide background. Okay, so this is just one of the PowerPoint templates that you can get that already has kind of a little bit of content, but not much. It really just came in with this title slide in this section title slide. However, on the title slide, it's got this pretty cool uh, large image of a dog. I want to swap this out. Now this is not a normal background image. If I click on this image, you see I get sizing handles on it right away. So that's the first clue that it's not a normal background and I can actually move it off. So this is just an image, a large image that's sized to fit the slide and it's layered to be behind the text. So that's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to jump out to unsplash.com. This is usually where I go to find some nice uh, royalty-free images and stuff like that. So I will just do a search down here for dog. I'm going to get a different picture. And there's a lot of good pictures. Now it would be nice, maybe a little bit easier, if I got one that was landscape orientation. However, getting one that's portrait is not a deal breaker. It just means you might need to crop a little bit and resize a little bit uh, differently. So if I like the picture of the dog here with the flower, that's I can work with that one. Although that one's pretty cute, cool too. All right, so I'm going to grab this one here, this tall one, and. I'm going to go ahead and download. I'm just going to download this to my desktop for now. And you know what? Since we're using PowerPoint, we can go ahead and take advantage and grab the attribute text to put into our notes for later use. So they give me a little copy button right down there to copy to clipboard. I'll jump back over to my PowerPoint and I'm going to just drag up the speaker notes all the way down here at the bottom for a bit. And I'm just going to pop that right in there. So that way we've got those credits later on and we can decide to put them into the actual footer of the slide if we want. Okay, so I've got that saved. Actually, I'll stay back on my PowerPoint. Now check this out. I'm just gonna double click on this large photo. You wanna make sure you're not clicking on the actual text boxes, the placeholders there. So I double click on that large photo. I'm on the picture format ribbon, that looks good. And I'm gonna jump over to change picture. And I'm gonna go from file and this is on my desktop. There it is. And there's that picture right there. I'm just going to double click that and pop it in. So it's taken out the old picture and put in the new picture. I don't need design ideas, although there's some. Oh, see, actually, this is kind of like what we're going to go for right over here. So looks like it'll do it for us. However, we're going to do it the hard way. I'm going to close the design ideas. And notice I can, oops, see, I clicked on the wrong things. Now, if I accidentally click on something and move it, Control Z to undo, pop that right back. I'm going to click on this photo and I can see that it is already positioned behind the text. That's pretty nice and that's a feature of changing the picture out. If it wasn't, I could right click on this picture and I could go to uh, send to back or for instance I'll go to bring to front. So now the picture is on top of the text. Right click on that picture and send to back and it went back a little bit too far. Notice it's behind this. There's another shape on here. So let me right click on that and I'm going to bring to front. However, I'm going to choose bring forward. That'll bring it forward one level. Perfect. There we go. Now it's just a matter of sizing and positioning. So let's see. I'm going to put this image right up here in the top left corner and then I'm going to use my sizing controls and I'm just going to click and drag. Now this can be a little bit easier if I zoom out a bit on my slide so I can see a lot more of the slide. And I'm just going to click on the corners and I'm letting the slide behind there kind of guide me a bit. And that could be pretty good. So now here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go back to my picture format ribbon and I'm choose the cropping tool. And I'm going to crop downward a bit and I want to get to the point to where I can see the slide. You can see it right there. And I'm going to crop to the slide. There'll be a little snap to guide that helps me out. And I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. I'm going to, I'm still under cropping and I'm going to crop up till I get to a point. That looks good right about there. And if I click the crop button again, those pieces of content will go away. Technically, we can still get them back. Yeah, so I like the location of the the image. I may have been I may have been better off moving this image a little bit further down so the focus of the dog's head is just below the title. This time I'll just move that dog picture down a little bit down where I want it. That looks good. Hit my crop button move up a little bit higher 
adjust that one a bit. Click the crop button again. All right, that's looking pretty good. Cool, so now that I'm satisfied with that, once again, if I'm double clicked on that picture, I'll be in my picture format uh, ribbon. And then I can go to things like uh, color, and I can adjust the color, make it grayscale if I want to, or under corrections, there's some pretty neat things there. And I can do soften and change the contrast, kind of darken it up a little bit, kind of like that original photo was before. Cool, I'm gonna call that one good. Let me zoom in again on my slide. And there is my new version of my photo with my new dog picture, but still a similar look. So thanks for hanging out with me.